Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the new RDA by eSmoke Guru and it's called the Skyfall. Now the Skyfall is a 22mm RDA. It's made from 316 stainless steel top to bottom pretty much, peak insulators and everything is made round about Athens. Uh, and all the parts are sourced from within the EU. You are looking at 160 euros for this, that's about 140 pounds or 190 dollars and the only place you can get it is through the Facebook group so the link will be in the description if you want to go and see or f see how to buy it or find out anything else about this device. From the outset I can tell you that even though this is, this is I'm not going to say high-end because price does not dictate whether or not something is high-end. I'll say this is high-end based on the quality, the machining and, and the time that I know that went into getting this just the way it is right now. Now I'll also be clear at the start that uh, I was out in Athens, I got to see this being made, I have so much respect and love for the guys that are behind it and, and they bought me beer. But if there is anything that I think is not right, if I think this is shit, if I think it's not going to work for you, I will tell you in this review because no matter how much I like the people, I have to be honest about the device because that's my job. I shouldn't really have to make that distinction and make that clear, but I feel that in this this situation I really do have to and what I will do is at the end of this video I'll talk a little bit about my trip over there, what I saw and uh, and what went into actually making this. But for now, close-ups. What do you get for your money? Right, first off it comes in this handmade box. This is beach and uh, and this is just, <laughs> this is how you do presentation. This is how you sell a product. So we have ESG, Eastmoke Guru, engraved on here. And the lid is held on by magnets and you can just pull this off. And your atty is threaded into, I think it's a little plastic uh, 510 thread in here. So it's uh, 19, it's about 19.2 millimeters in height, 22 millimeters in diameter. The cap that you see right now, this is going to be the standard cap that you will get with it. The drip tip is made from Delrin and you're looking about a 6.7mm bore and it's about the same height as well, around 7mm. All the metal parts you see here, this is all 316 stainless steel and you'll see that on the base we have Skyline and the eSmoke Guru logo, <laughs> logo on there and we've got the Ketron Peak insulators in there and inside the device as well. The air holes, I'll explain how all this works in a second, but uh, I do, I, do you know, I just personally, I think it's classy. The one thing I do like about it is that the, the designing of the top cap, and for me, it does follow, I mean, this is the, the Skyline drop that I have here, and you can see that it's, yeah, it's got the exact same kind of finishing, uh, it's just done really, really well. All the parts are actually hand polished, it's all done uh, by themselves. Everything goes through an ultrasonic bath before it's sent out, so it's, yeah, it's done really, really well this. So we'll start with the top cap. So inside we have this happening in here, and I can just take my finger, pop it in there, take this out, and you can see that we have some airflow adjustment going on here that ties in with the air hole here and this is about 7.5 by 3.5 mil in size but the real airflow adjustment is done with the air discs this is a PC1000 and once again you can see the see how you can see through it this is all hand polished by themselves and it shows it's done really well so we can just pop this in here boink take that in you may have to put some e-liquid around this o-ring here but once you do that pop it back in doink and you'll find that you can actually move this. You can actually open and close the airflow. But I will say that I did have to pop this off, put some e-liquid on it, because once this is actually on the device, it's not quite so easy to turn it, and it's it's not the easiest part to actually get a grip of. So the deck. Right, we have a serial number here. That's uh, my serial number's my date of birth, 69. And uh, we also have some more 
digits or more numbers inside here and that means that there's never going to be uh, you will always know if you have a clone or not because the the way that they identify their atties once again this is stainless steel 316 the screws inside here are stainless steel 316 the o-rings are nbr short 50 so these are fda approved o-rings and once again we have the you know the peak insulator running round here, down here and in the bottom here. The air discs I'm going to explain in a second, obviously there's no air discs in here just now, but I just really wanted to show you this. Do you notice there's no straight, straight cuts, there's no flat, you know, there's no flat edges, everything's rounded off. I can't, for those of you that know machining, um, this is crazy. This could have been done so much simpler, uh, but it wouldn't have looked as pretty as it does, and it just wouldn't have been finished to this standard. It's perhaps the nicest machined RDA I have ever seen. You can also see that the squonk pin down the bottom there is actually raised off the deck, so you're looking about two millimeters in height, so there will, you know, when you squonk, there will be juice left in the well. The well depth itself is about 4.6 millimetres, just taking it from the edge and measuring down. When you buy the device, you can specify a set of air discs. So you get to specify which ones you want, and there's three different sets. Now, hopefully you can see these okay, but um, going from here, we have the one mil air hole, we have three by 1.6 and three by 1.9. I'll talk about the draw a lot more later on, but uh, proper mouth to lung for this guy. If you're looking for say Narda, Narca kind of draw, you're going for the 1.6. And if you're looking at say the Haku fully open, you're looking at the 1.9. Now when I was over in Athens, uh, it was explained to me these air discs, they could have been made completely different. They could have made them out of peak. They could have made them out of a lot of other parts and you know just put them in so that they would squeeze in and they would be held in by pressure if you like but if you listen to this I hope hopefully you can hear this so that's an air disc just going in can you hear that click so that's it located the machining to get that to work is just insane uh, so that's one mouth to lung air disc in that goes there click again so that's our mouth to lung air discs installed. Now the thing I want to point out is that the mouth to lung discs are actually longer. So you have between here and here you have 5.9 mil. As you go up and use the bigger air discs the space between and here gets bigger. So we're going from 5.9 mil with the mouth to lung discs to 7.7 millimeters with the the biggest air discs or the 3 by one9 millimeter air discs. So you can see you've got a lot more room in there to put your coil. Before I throw in the coil, I will point out that you get a standard 510 pin as well as the squonking pin. You will get Allen keys, you'll get two Allen keys and you'll get spare O-rings. Allen keys, one for the posts and one for changing out the 510. Now I will point out that uh, you will get 27 gauge wire in here no problem, uh, it will work. If you use 27 gauge wire, then you know if I just screw this down here, I know this because the, the guys did this uh, when I was over in Athens, they made sure that the wire was getting trapped right in here and it wasn't getting chewed up by the threads. So yes, it does work. Now I've got a three millimeter inner diameter coil in here. It's a fuse clapped in and you can see how that's lined up just show you where it's sitting so you can see the air discs there and they're just going to be smacking air right off the side of this coil. I have no issues with wire being chewed up, I have no issues with trapping any coils in here, uh, just when you snip the wire make sure that there's no wire sticking out past this piece here and I can't tell you how baby smooth this metal is. This has been polished within an inch of its life this device. So one coil pulsed, some cotton passed through there and th there's no great secrets to, to, to getting this thing to work. The one thing I do like is that it's the coil sits high in this device so you do get to put in a nice little bed of cotton in here. You've got that nice deep well going on. And once again just to point out, you know, that the squonk hole does have that slope on it, it's about 2mm in height. 
So, you know, when you're squonking, it's going to leave some in there and it's going to make sure that your cotton's getting properly saturated. I can squonk away here just now. Up she comes. Doink. And all the just suit back out. Now, I will say, it's hard to get over squonk with this. Obviously you can, you, you can over squonk any RDA pretty much these days, but it's not one of these ones where you have to really be careful with it. You know, I can give it a good push there, juice coming up, let go, and you can see there's no juice coming out the, the air holes there. Now one thing I want to quickly show you is that coming down the line, not straight away because this is going to be the standard top cap, but coming down the line you are going to have things like this, you know, where you've got other Delrin top caps going on here, so you can have black on black going on here. And this is another one that they sent on, this is, so we've got polished Ultum going on here, and this is a DLC, a DLC finish on this cap here, and that is absolutely gorgeous. But these will be coming down the line, they're not available right now. So I'm all juiced up, and this should be firing quite the thing, there we go, top cap. So we're going to line up the air holes here, pop this down, doink, and there we go. Once again, I want to point out that yes, you can adjust the airflow by twisting this section here. And you can see that that's getting closed off there. And I can just open that up. Now, you do have to get a really good grip on it. It's, it's, it can, for somebody like me that's covered in e-liquid all the time, it's not always the easiest, but it does work. But if you're finding it really stiff, make sure you've lubed up the O-rings that are inside the device. This is uh, the Pulsar by Mod Dog, and I think that looks pretty damn sexy on there. Before we get into the old chit chat and summary here, I, I will make clear that I've owned one of these for quite some time. Uh, as I said, I was out in Athens and so I've had a prototype version, which is pretty close to the final version that I'm showing you now. Uh, so I've tried all the air discs, I've tried lots of different builds using different air discs. So whilst I'm just showing you the, the open one just now, I can quite happily describe what it is like to actually use the mouth to lung air discs. But we'll start off with the most open ones. So draw wise, what's it like? So if you listen to this, it's so smooth. It's quiet, very, very quiet. And I'll take a draw. Now that's a zero point, I think it worked out about 0 0.25, 0 0.3, which is what I like on a mechanical squonker. That's, that kind of works for me. Regulated, I'm, yeah, I'm usually about 0 0.5, but on this mech, that for me is, is a great build. I do prefer using just plain canthal round wire. Uh, I will go from 22, 24 to 26 gauge. And if I'm using the mouth to lung discs, I will use 26, 27 gauge and anywhere from 0 0.5 up to 0 0.8. Now, as far as the draw goes, in the attic just now, I have the, the 1.9. So this is the big beastie coil, or coil, sorry. This is the big beastie air disc that I've got in there just now. And comparing this to anything that I have just now, I would say you're looking at the Haku fully open. Very, very similar. But if I take it down to this, which is the, the three 1.6 mil air holes, you've got Narca. Narca, Narda kind of territory. Maybe just a tiny, tiny little bit more air than the two I've just mentioned, but it's comparable to the draw you would get from that. So if you like the Narda, Narca, Hassar, the one RDA, those kind of RDAs, then the three 1.6mm air holes are bang on. More air, go for the 1.9s, similar to the Haku, the mouth to lung, the two, you know, the 1mm air hole, it's 
Yeah, I'm going to say it. It's proper mouth to lung. It's tight. It is tight. And because those air discs are longer, you know, so the air you've got, you're going to be using smaller coils if you're mouth to lunging. So the discs come right in so you can get your little coil in there and you can mouth to lung with this quite happily. I've done it. It works and you do. It just works. As I said, you can, when you buy it, you choose the set you want. But I like what he's done with the mouth to lung one. Uh, I know that, uh, you know, rather than having three really small holes and then having to close it down, you know, that would mean that the air would be hitting just one portion of the coil. He's just gone for the tiny little one mil air hole on either side. So that's smacking the coil bang in the middle, which for me works best and gives the best flavour. The flavour, okay, here we go, uh, cut through the bullshit. For me, the best flavour I've had from any RDA um, ever, my favourite one is the Narda and the Narca. They still, for me, are, they're my personal favourite. Once again, I'm not saying they're the best in the market, but for the way I vape and what I like, they work the best. This is there. For me, this is as good it sits on the same bench and the flavor i get from it is just as good that's all i can tell you on the flavor front it's as good as it gets for me i'm not going to tell you that oh my god it's the latest greatest thing and the flavor is so much better it's not it's just as good as it gets for me i can't say any better than that actually that's that's about the biggest compliment i can give it I love the fact that I can change the air discs out is just so easy. You just pop them out and pop them back in and you get that satisfying little click. Um, once again, I'm sorry to harp on about it, but uh, for those of you that are into the kind of thing, to, to, to understand the kind of machining, he really could have gone down a cheaper and easier route with machining this in so many ways. Um, I mean, the rounding off, the, the edges on the deck and everything, there's, it's all flows, it's all curved. Uh, the fact that, you know, you've got that click when the air disc goes in, it is machined to perfection and I don't think you'll ever get any better than this. So 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 on the machining that has gone into this. This is the best I've ever seen. But the machining doesn't really, you know, if it doesn't vape worth a crap, then... Um, yeah, that's not much good, but I'm happy to say that it vapes. Yeah, it vapes as good as I could ever hope for. I could talk the hind legs off a donkey about this RDA all day long. There are so many positives for me on this. Negative wise, I'm going to say, yeah, sometimes when you've got multiple air disc sets, it's this, can I, I'm nitpicking. Um, Try to remember which way round the air disc goes in, um, but you'll soon figure that out. Uh, that is a minute niggle. Uh, the other one is if you've got e-liquid on your hands and you do want to close down the air holes, then sometimes getting a hold of this top cap and spinning it, sometimes it will not move. It's because the O-rings have dried out inside. If they're not lubricated, then it can be a pain in the arse trying to adjust that airflow. I will say that 9 out of 10 times I have it fully open like that. If I want a different airflow, then I change to a different set of discs. Remember that the discs are longer. They're not all the same length. So when you restrict your draw with the air discs, you are also, you know, you're closing the distance inside. So if you've got a a three and a half mil inner diameter coil with the 1.9 air discs, the 1.6 air discs might not fit in. So just bear that in mind. I'm going to stop there because I could twitter on all day, all day about this one. And I know I've probably gone on too much as it is, but I will say if you have any questions, if there's anything specific you want to know, what I'll do is I'll put the, I've got a crib sheet that I made up for this review with information from me, Smoke Guru. I'll copy and paste it into the description for this video if you do not find your answer there. Please go along to the Facebook group and ask questions. Or if you don't get answers there, then feel free to post in the video below and I'll try and answer the questions. And here endeth the review. 
So if you have no interest in listening to me talk about my trip to Athens, thank you for watching as always, and until next time, bye for now. So the, th the story goes, uh, the short and sweet version is that uh, I was invited out to, to see how they were making this RDA and, and that was just too good an opportunity to miss. So I hopped in the plane over to Athens and um, yeah, sunshine. So turned up at the East Milk Guru shop and for the next few days I just ate cakes. <laughs> I ate lots of cakes and I ate lots of good food and drank beer but in amongst that it was getting to try the prototypes and there was lots of blind testing comparing the prototype to the the current crop of you know top end RDAs I had an Arda, there was an Arca, they were, they were all there so it was blind testing and it was so good to be involved and see what goes into designing a, a, a top-end RDA. It was also good to see life in a vape shop again. I obviously have not worked in a vape shop for over a year now so it was good to hang about East Milk Guru and, and meet the customers and get the crack even though I couldn't understand all of it but it, it was good fun. Now what would happen is that um, short and sweet and I'm being completely open and blunt here um, Vasilis is, he's a perfectionist, he be, he's insane. I, I, I say this with love, he's barking mad when it comes to perfection. Um, he, he would look at your face, if you took, if you were looking at something like this and, and he just saw like a, a raised eyebrow, he wanted to know exactly what you thought and if it was something that he thought he could change, jump in the car drive for 40 minutes to the machine shop, conversation with the machine shop owner and they would change it, they would machine it there and then and, and it was just crazy. So what these guys are doing at this, it's a five axis CNC machine that they're using. So the time that goes into machining this one RDA is insane. Even for the little air discs, I think it was, was it 15 minutes a disc? It was something crazy. And, but every part machined and checked individually. So it's not, they're not all rattling off this big machine line. They're all, you know, there was guys, every time a deck was machined, there was a guy with a magnifying glass going round it and he was checking it then they all get, you know, they all go back to the shop and they get, you know, cleaned properly in distilled water, they get machine polished by hand and then they get assembled. So the whole process is just insane. This could have been made cheaper in that it could have been, more could have been churned off the machine. It could have been quicker going from, you know, you know, being machined to being packaged, that process could be quicker. It could be so that, uh, you know, the edges weren't as smooth, the design was totally different on the RDA. The air discs could have had like little plastic, you know, peak inserts on them so that they just popped in and out. But the actual going for stainless steel 316 machined to such a fine tolerance that it clicks into the hole, that is just taking it to the, the next level. And that is what I love about this device so much, is that it is just done to perfection. It really was, for me, a, a, an honor, a pleasure to be, to be there and see the design that has gone into making this RDA. 
Now, I will stress, and, and you know, I've picked up a negative on it. There is something that I think is a negative. Uh, if there had been more negatives, I would have shared them with you. It doesn't matter how much Rula, Vasilis, and, and the guys, I, so much time for them. But at the end of the day, my job is to give you an honest opinion on an RDA or a device. And I believe that what I've given you is the honest feedback, is my honest opinion. I found this video incredibly hard to make because, because of the fact I like the people so much, I wanted to make sure that I, I was being honest and not being distracted by the fact that I like the people so much. And, and I know that some people will find holes in it and say that ah, he's just saying that because you know he was there and, and, and he likes the people. Believe me, hand on heart, and those that watch my videos know that no matter what, you will always get an honest opinion. So to Alex, Petros, Rula, and the main man himself, thank you so much for having me over there. It was an absolute blast, and I love what you guys have done. To you that have stuck with me and listened to me prattling on here, thank you so much, and um, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. To the side of me, you will find two other videos that I think you may be interested in. As always, please feel free to leave comments to the video below. Cheers.